One area that really interests me about large language models is not necessarily the models that you run in the cloud, although those are fascinating, but the ones that you can run locally. Now, Google has launched a new app that you can download and install on your Android phone that allows you to run large language models, specifically those from Google, on your smartphone without connecting to the internet. Now it's called Google AI Edge Gallery. Now it's got that funny name because really it's a demo app that are designed for developers so that they can then go ahead and incorporate these kind of models directly into apps on the device. However, it's great fun to play with. You can download it, experiment with the different models. So in this video, I wanna go through that app, talk about what it is, and then give you a demonstration of it running. So if you wanna find out more, please, let me explain. Okay, so let's get into this then, Google's uh, AI Edge Gallery demonstration app. So it's an Android app that puts generative AI models directly into your hand, running entirely on your Android device. It allows you to explore, dive into the world of generative AI, all running locally without the need for an internet connection, except for, of course, when you initially download the model. You can experiment with the different models, chat, ask questions about images, explore different prompts, uh, and so on. Now the core features are, as I said, it runs locally. You don't need internet connection. You can switch between different models that uh, Google allow you to download. There are image uh, capabilities as well, vision capabilities as well. They give you a prompt lab, which is basically some uh, predefined prompts that allow you to uh, test out different use cases. Uh, and of course, there's the standard AI chat where you can go back and forth with the LLM. Now this is all based on Gemma 3 and Gemma 3N. Gemma 3N is a generative AI model optimized for everyday devices. By that they mean Android phones, laptops, tablets. Uh, the model includes some new uh, technology, specifically parameter efficient processing. Uh, including per layer embedding, so PLE, and also it uses the Matformer model architecture, and we'll quickly cover those uh, in just a moment. And there is also uh, models that feature uh, audio handling as well as text uh, and data. Uh, and as with other Gemma models, 3N is provided with open weights. That means you can go and download it and just use it without having to uh, pay for it. So what is this thing about effective uh, parameters? Gemma 3N models are listed with their parameter count. So E2B and E4B are basically 2 billion and 4 billion parameter models. The E prefix indicate these models can operate with a reduced set of effective parameters. Uh, the parameters in model 3N are divided into four groups, text, visual, audio, and per layer embedding. So they divide up the parameters into those uh, four groups. And with standard execution, the E2B model, which actually has over 5 billion parameters uh, available, you actually only need to run about 2 billion of those uh, for any one particular thing that you're doing. So, of course, that reduces the amount of uh, RAM that the, the model is going to use during during the time that you're executing through it, which improves uh, throughput. Quickly to cover these other two things, PLE uh, creates data that enhances the performance of each model layer. It's generated separately outside of the memory and it's cached on the internal storage. This is another way of reducing the RAM usage while actually boosting up the uh, performance. And the uh, Matformer model architecture allows nested smaller models to run inside of a larger model, which means you can only you can activate just the bits that you want to. And again, this reduces the overall compute cost. Now, installing this uh, new app can be a bit tricky. It's not available on the Play Store. And what you have to do is you have to go over to Google's uh, GitHub repository here and download the .apk file. Now, you may have a chance that you can find the APK file in a file explorer on your uh, Android phone, tap on it, and it will say, you can, you can install this from an unknown source. Yes, I don't mind doing that, and it will guide you through. However, if you have Google Play Protect enabled, which is what actually happened on my phone, then you won't be able to install it. It will say, no, this is not from the Google Play Store. Uh, you're not allowed to do this. 
Now, if that's the case, there is a second way of doing it, and that's using ADB, the Android Debug Bridge. Now, I won't cover this too much here. There are lots of videos online and documentation from Google on how you do this. But basically, you need to enable developer options. So you go to your Android device, you go to settings, you go to About Phone, you find the build number, you tap it seven times, and it will say you are now a developer. You then go and find the developer menu that's now newly appeared inside of your settings, and you enable developer options, and you enable USB debugging. Then you need to get the ADB program, the Android Debug Bridge program, which you find over on android.com. You download that, unpack all the zip files and everything. You run that program with your phone connected via a USB cable. If you can type in ADB devices and a device comes up as recognized, then you know you're on the right path. And then once you can do that, you do ADB install minus T AI edge gallery dot APK. That's the APK file you downloaded from the GitHub file. And that will install it over the USB for you. Okay, once you have it installed, it should run. So let's show you it running. Okay, so here we are inside of the app. As you can see, there are three main sections. Ask about an image, a normal AI chat, and there's a prompt lab, which they give you some predefined prompts. We'll have a look at all of those. Let's start with the AI chat. When you tap on that, it shows you the four models that are available. Gemma 3N 2 billion, Gemma 3N 4 billion. Then there's just Gemma 3 normal one, 1 billion. And then the Quen 2.5, uh, 1.5 billion. As you can see, I've already got the 2 billion one of 3N downloaded and the uh, 1 billion version of Gemma 3 downloaded. Let's start with the smaller one. This is just over 500 megabytes. So we go ahead and then you just get your normal prompt. So we can type in something like, you know, uh, what is the capital of France? Go ahead and do that. It says model running on the GPU and it goes ahead and gives us the output. And then we can, if we want to hear show stats and it's showing me that I'm getting 32 tokens a second. So let's go back into AI chat again. This time we're going to try the Gemma 3N 2 billion parameter one and we're going to try, you know, tell me five things about London. Now it's running on the CPU in this particular case and now it's going to go ahead and uh, write out those five things that I've asked for. Remember, this is all running on the device. None of this is going out onto the internet, hasn't contacted the cloud, hasn't contacted any models out on the internet. This is all running on the phone here locally. And when this is finished in a second, we'll see what the stats are. Okay, show stats. This is running on the CPU, 10 tokens per second. Now there's also a uh, visual model, so we can ask image. And you can see here, these are just the three N versions of Gemma. I've got the two billion parameter one here. We'll go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to add a photo. So I've gone ahead and added a photo of a river that in fact I took this morning. I'm just going to say, describe this photo. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Running on the CPU and let's see what it says. The photo captures a vibrant flowing stream winding through. That's all correct, yes. And in the foreground, okay, fine. Let's see what the stats are when it finishes. Okay, show stats. So this is giving us again 10 tokens a second for describing a photo. Now there's also the prompt lab. Let's go into here and we'll try it on the normal Gemma 3 model again. And so look, you can have write uh, free form, uh, rewrite tone, summarize text, and so on. So let's go and summarize text. So we're going to cut and paste into here something I've cut from. Wikipedia about London and I say well what do I want one sentence summary there you go let's give it that and ask it to create a one sentence and it just talks about London because where it's from and it's a very long sentence but it's more than one sentence but there you go it's a pretty short summary including mention there of Big Ben and I think we can look at the speed there 31 frames a second so you can see some of the models run on the CPU some run on the GPU but they all run locally and the speed is uh, pretty impressive. Okay, so there you go. So do tell me how you get on with this app in the comments below. Love to hear from you, hear your experience of using local AI without having to connect to the internet. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, then I invite you to stick around by subscribing to the channel. Also, please don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.